This afternoon, I went to visit a friend who is a tea importer in her family since 18th century, since the late 18th centuries. Okay, um, when I I haven't seen her for years, and I was surprised when she walks very steeply like that. I can, I could see how how much pain she has from her neck and also low back. So I ask Barbara, are you okay? Because you looks, you have a lot of problem with your neck and the back. She said yes. She's younger than I am. And the family business is going very, very well. At that moment, when I came out, I can't help to think about my own experience. I started my first wake up call about work life balance before 1985 because at that time I, s I have a lot of physical pain on my low back as well because before I was so eager to keep in the good in the good shape so I did a lot of fitness very intensive fitness as a matter of fact I work like a working machine. I thought the worth of my existence because of work. When I, I was not very good students, I frankly speaking, before I graduated, I was pretty naughty. And I remember I only started to really learning about the business, business process. What I have learned in the schools, I only restart to relearn it when I started to work. So I feel that I was behind from many people, you know, because some of my school classmates, they started with a very good job already, and I chose to start with a new startup. I really worked my ass out and I, it's not my boss asked me to prove, and it's not I said I have to prove it. It's just my anxiety and my stubbornness start to waking up because of the requirement for the job and also what I want to advance in the learning. I'm not saying achievement because I have no idea what the achievement means. You know, if, if you ask me then, what do you plan to achieve in the next 10 years? I just simply say work. You know, even today, I still said work. So I lost, so I work like a crazy maniac. Okay, I become a workaholic. Because of my work, and also I know I have to continue to advance my learning. So I, after work, I went to the evening schools, uh, different courses. Okay, but I, I make my own uh, credentials learning process. For example, I have to enhance my language skills. I have to learn more about the negotiation communication skills. I have to strengthen my presentation skills. I have, I have to do more network and things like that. And I actually, I found fun by doing that. So I, there was a moment I thought I was okay. I was pretty okay until my back told me you have to something went wrong and actually thanks to my boss at that moment he said one day you shouldn't take a three days holidays in row and I said why because according to the regulation at that moment I could take annual leave no, 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 better not. You better just take two days. I said, why? He said, every time you take three days, once you have three days holiday, you always end up sick. You didn't notice that? Because of that, all of a sudden, I said, oh my God, it seems quite correct. Something's wrong. So all of a sudden, I realized something wrong with my body because of uh, loss of balance, okay? And I had a relationship at that time, but I was not happy.
I never there for him, he never there for me. And because of relationship and also my eagerness in the learning, so I did not have time with my parents. I'm a I'm really like a a, a child attached to a family because I I was not like my brother. He stood he lived in the school far away from home. I actually I I went home every day. So I always get used to to communicate with my parents when I was students. And all of a sudden, when I started to work, I became a workaholic. I became a learner addict. I did not have time for for myself and for my for my parents, and even for my partner at that time. So then all of a sudden, I realized that what am I doing? Who am I? Am I happy with it? No. The answer was no. So because of the back pain, the pain on my back, okay, the shifting of the spirals. Disc, so I have to slow down. It forced me to slow down. But in the meantime, I'm a very active person. I can't slow down. So I found, I, I found. Hey, hey, there's a tea. I can learn tea in the tea mountain. I found a very good tea house where I can enjoy the peaceful moment. But first, I invited my partner to come with me, and he said, "Stupid." So I said, "If you don't go, I will go." So I would stay alone to do the tea learning and just sit there and the tasting tea and learning from each tea I tasted. In the meantime, I was fortunate enough to be accepted by Lan Xuru, Master Lan Xuru, into the cell healing, energy healing through the Dao Qigong. And that kept me going for pretty a uh, few years. And till 1990, I met my ex-husband in Taiwan in a conference, and I thought I was I never been pursued like that this way, okay, like he did to me. So I thought that was a lot. So I decided to give up everything. I I came. I moved to Belgium, and I thought I can continue my legend of success. As I did in Taiwan, right? Then I was wrong. It was hard, much harder than I thought. But on the country, on the other side, it also gave me a chance to to appreciate who I am. I'm Chinese. I never feel being Chinese so much. Only after I moved. Outside of my birthplace, I never realized how much I really enjoyed and appreciate Chinese culture when I'm so far away from it. I never realized that I'm so patriot after I move out, because this discovery actually gave me a lot of strength. Just about, I thought, okay, I got over the work-life balance, and all of a sudden, in two thousand two, I was forced into、uh, family relationship drama. I never thought the Dixon story, you know, the family dramas, the sad story that Dixon wrote, can happen in real life until I had personally experienced it. That moment, the only thought I have was, stay alive, because I need to stay alive and stay in good health for my children. So I learned to, to change again. And the only difference is this time, I really change from inside outside, and I really find the true me back. When the Barbara told me about all her problems, and I look at her and I think. You know, some people can can be very successful, can be very wealthy, rich, but if they don't have a good health, they cannot enjoy it, the quality of everyday life. Then, what that money or the wealth can do for for her and her family? So. That was the reason why 
when I drove back home, I really feel appreciated for all these difficulty, difficult times I've been through because those difficult times I've been through in 1985, in 2002, actually make me a better person. So, indeed, when you're young, you have to have a 10 years plan. But remember, your life is not numbers, cold number. It's a warm and fresh blood, okay? You have to have passion. You have to have feelings. You have started taking care of yourself. Stay in good health. I enjoy it every day. This is Mei Lan from Beijing Chinese Tea Association. Wish you all a very pleasant day.